Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Python. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, is if a software developer say uh, states on their CV that they know a language such as, say, Python, does that mean that they know absolutely everything about that language? No. Dude, uh, I, I, uh, I was born and raised as a Swede. Do you think I know all the words in, in my language? No. I don't. And neither, like, there is not a single programmer that knows everything about uh, e everything there is to know about the programming language. Not even the people who made the language, in many cases, would know all of the features. It's not possible. It's the same thing as uh, if you, if you mean, if I, in my company, I am one of the people who know the most about the system that I work on, but I don't know the entire system. There are so many pieces of code that I have no idea what they do. I don't know how they work. I don't know how the features do what they do and so forth, because the, it's too. It's the system is too big for one single person to know all of those things. And the same thing goes with languages. Usually, when you put a language on uh, your CV, the thing that you want to do is to make sure that you know the common tasks. And that is super fluffy. I'm sorry, um, and also sort of subjective for a lot of people when, but when I say the common tasks it usually is the sort of things that you expect a developer to be able to do on a daily basis and for most of us that's if we're talking web now that's gonna be spinning up a web server setting up a rest API uh, maybe like uh, doing uh, some database calls and connecting that up uh, creating some models things like that some data structures maybe depending on like what you're going to do and so forth and some basic logic like that's what you need to be able to do like i like to say that uh, if you're going to check how if you know the boring boilerplate stuff in a language and if you're going to quote unquote learn a new language well you should first and foremost make sure that you can do the thing I just said. You should be able to set up a REST API with maybe some front end stuff or something like that, something like that, uh, uh, with a database so you can persist some stuff and maybe create a session or something like that so you can have like validation, a little bit of that. And then a part, and you should be able to do all of these things with what is considered what I like to call the core tools. Now every community, depending or regardless of if it's Python or if it's Java or if it's um, JavaScript or whatever, it doesn't really matter. The, all the communities have a like a range, like a a range of tools that people feel are this is the thing that we use most of the time. That's the common boring stuff that everybody uses. Like for Ruby, that would be Rails. That would be an, a good example. Or PHP and Laravel. Well, there's more than Laravel, of course, but there are these frameworks and these ways of working that a lot of people associate with that specific language. And when you know those things and you can be productive, in not only from like however you decide to work, but in a way that is very in line with how everybody else is doing things, that's when you can put the language on your CV. That doesn't mean that you know everything about that language. Far from it. You don't. It, it's not. That, that's not what, what what it's about. It's just that when you put something on your CV, the person person is going to look at that and say, "Well, we're probably going to we want to hire this person." What they will think, or what they want to uh, want, is that when you say that you know this thing, they want to feel uh, confident in that if I hire you you know this thing well enough that you can do the job that I'm going to ask you to do. That doesn't mean that you have to be like a like a master of the language and know everything. It's just about knowing enough of it so that you can do the job. So what I want you to take away from this is that if someone sets, puts a, a language on their CV, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean that they know everything about that language. It's just that they claim, at the very least, to know enough about the language so that they can do the job with that language. And in some cases, of course, there's a misalignment here, and some people just put every language like they know how to make a Hello World application, but they usually don't get th they don't get the job. 
the thing that gets you the job when you put something on your CV is that you meet the expectations of the people who are hiring for that position. So I mean, if sure, if you know to how to make a Hello World application and you find a company who is going to pay you to do that, well, then it's fine to have that thing there. But the norm is that you know how to number if you're going to be web related type of programmer that you know how to set up a server you know how to create a rest api do some user validation create some records in a database maybe do some uh, some some slight front end like serve up a web page or something like that uh, and do some basic uh, like, uh, some basic logic these are the normal boring everyday s uh, things that everybody does in the language and you need to be able to do these sorts of things in the way that most people do it within the community of the language that you the in question if you can do all of these things it's absolutely safe for you to put a language on your cv have a great day